again from Normandy. It's a beautiful evening and still sunny. And this evening I wanted to talk about air meadows. So when we're talking about air meadows and thinking about what we're going to grow for our poultry, then we look up Look down. And we also look along. And one of the reasons why I've never thought about really about air meadows before is because I absolutely hate pollarded trees. And I now realise when I look in the countryside, especially in France, that why these trees were pollarded. Now I did know about fuel pollards, like the oak trees that we see often in our area. They're cut once every 15 years and they're chipped and, made and used for wood chip boilers. It's a very efficient way of using those trees. But I never thought about it for leaf fodder for both livestock and in my case for poultry. So I went around this area and I took lots of films and lots of pictures of different sorts of pollards to show you. And I've suddenly began to, well, to cope with pollards, put it that way. But in general, I think they look like tortured trees when they're in a town. But I now understand why they were done that way. And it's to provide leaf fodder for livestock. That's why it was done. As well as for fuel. And also, with the in the case of the willows, as you can see here, they were pollarded to make baskets. And in this area, particularly baskets for collecting seafood. So it's a fascinating study. I hope you go on my blog and look at the two articles I've written on it. I've written about the whole history of it, what I could find out, and also I've got links to the nutritional value of tree leaves and shrub leaves, and I've got three or four links to different areas of the world so you can decide what sort of trees would be suitable for you. Sometimes it's native trees, and they've been used over the centuries in different countries on a just on a browse basis, but in Europe, ever since Neolithic times and right up till the 1900s, they were actually harvested to feed immediately or they were harvested in June and July to make tree hay and right up until the beginning of the 20th century in Europe there was more fodder collected for hay from trees than there was from grass so it's a very ancient way of farming and creating food free food for your animals but it's also very nutritious I'd also like to mention that I'm uploading now to two other platforms. One is BitChute. I'm doing that quite slowly because there seems to be a limit on the size of the videos and I'm going to have to change the codec for the audio on those. So I'm probably just going to start from scratch. 
and start building a completely different set of videos. On Odyssey, I am uploading to YouTube and then that goes directly to Odyssey as well. But I will be uploading Odyssey only videos too. If you want to join me on Odyssey, please do so by using the invite code, which is in the details below this video, as that really helps me. So there's other ways to see my videos now. Thank you.